When you think of the Mafia, Italy immediately comes to mind. However, Italy is not the European country with the highest presence of organized crime. The Global Organized Crime Index shows that Europe is the second safest continent for organized crime, but some European nations still stand out for the presence and ferocity of some powerful criminal groups. Today we will look at the 10 nations with the highest presence of organized crime and mafia-style groups, also including transcontinental countries. We found this list and the information on each country on the Global Organized Crime Index, the leading website for information on organized crime, supported by the European Union and the United States government. Welcome to this new video from Amazing Europe. Number 10. France. Many will be surprised to find France or other countries on this list, but let's remember that organized crime truly operates in the shadows, and often the extent of its crimes is unknown to the majority of people. In recent years, the problem of human trafficking has increased in France. For example, the percentage of underage girls who have been victims of prostitution has increased from 12% to 33% between 2016 and 2020. Regarding drugs, the Global Organized Crime Index reports that heroin is mainly produced in Afghanistan and transported to France via the Netherlands and Belgium. The Nord Department is a major hub for heroin trafficking, while trafficking in the Alps region is controlled by Albanian mafias. Cocaine, on the other hand, arrives mainly by container from Ecuador or Brazil, especially through the port of La Havre. Although there are criminal networks made up of French citizens, organized crime is largely in the hands of foreigners. For example, groups from Eastern Europe and West Africa control the arms trade and sexual exploitation, respectively. Wholesale crime is mainly in the hands of Asians. Algerian crime operates mainly in Marseille, while Italian crime operates in the southeast of France. One last interesting fact, France is the second largest country, after the United States, in terms of the percentage of custom seizures of products that violate intellectual property rights. Number 9. Bosnia and Herzegovina. Human trafficking is also a serious problem here. Roma and other ethnic children are forced into begging and sexual exploitation. People from Afghanistan, Cuba, Gambia, Libya, Serbia, Sri Lanka and neighboring Balkan countries have been exploited in Bosnia and Herzegovina. The Global Organized Crime Index states that organized crime is able to get these people in and out of the country with the help of corrupt law enforcement officials, particularly border police officers. Extortion and racketeering are also common in this country, usually carried out by criminal groups linked to high-level politicians. Arms trafficking is widespread, especially considering that Bosnia and Herzegovina has one of the highest numbers of legal and illegal firearms in civilian possession in the world. It is also located along one of the trafficking routes between major arms supplier countries, such as Serbia and Montenegro, and destination countries for illegal firearms in Europe. Smuggling of counterfeit drugs and cigarettes is also a widespread problem in the country. It is estimated that 20% of the tobacco consumed in the country is illegal. The most widely used drug in the country is cannabis, which enters from Albania and is then sold in Western Europe. In addition, Bosnia and Herzegovina has recently become a source of sour cannabis, a stronger variety, with indoor cultivation in the southern and western parts of the country. The most active organized crime groups in the country are those from Kosovo, Croatia, Montenegro, Serbia and Turkey, the latter being particularly active in smuggling and financial crime. Number 8. Belarus. Organized crime is widespread in Belarus, thanks in part to its geographical location as a bridge between the European Union and Russia. Trafficking in weapons is particularly well-developed, especially illegal weapons stolen from former Soviet stockpiles. Counterfeit goods from China also often pass through Belarus before entering Europe. Goods produced in Europe and destined for Russia also transit through Belarus. Since sanctions against Russia have prevented Europe from selling certain types of goods to that country, EU goods are relabeled in Belarus and smuggled into the Russian Federation. Belarus is one of the main producers of illicit cigarettes in Europe, and a significant amount of drugs also pass through the country. Not as much heroin and cocaine, which are too expensive for the country, but cannabis and synthetic drugs are more common. Synthetic drugs, especially methadone, represent the fastest growing criminal market in Belarus. All of this drug and goods trafficking is facilitated by the high level of corruption in the country, as discussed in the dedicated video. Belarus has become a source country for cybercrime, especially since the war in Ukraine. These groups have targeted government agencies in several countries, including Ukraine, Germany, Lithuania, and Poland. 
Number 7. Spain. Spain is a major transit and destination country for human trafficking. The primary purpose is sexual exploitation, dominated by Chinese and Spanish criminal groups. Victims are typically girls and women from Eastern Europe, Central and South America, Vietnam, Thailand, China, and Nigeria. Labor exploitation is also common, especially in the textile, construction, industrial, and agricultural sectors. Those most exploited are people from Eastern Europe and Asia, particularly Pakistanis. Spanish police have uncovered many cases of this kind, especially after the COVID-19 pandemic. Spain is a major entry point for drugs into Europe. Galicia is a major logistics hub for heroin, which arrives by sea. The Global Organized Crime Index states that this is also possible due to some corruption among customs and law enforcement officials. However, marijuana and hashish are the most consumed illicit drugs in the country. Notably, Spain is the main producer of cannabis in Europe and the main entry point for cannabis from North Africa. Domestic mafia groups are generally less influential than their foreign counterparts, especially those of Italian, Albanian, Russian, Nigerian, Serbian, Turkish, Mexican, and Dutch origin. Financial fraud is also very prevalent in Spain. Among other things, organized crime also uses identity theft to carry out large-scale credit card fraud. Number 6. Montenegro. The two main strengths of organized crime in Montenegro are its geographic location and its connections with state authorities. Montenegro is the main entry point for cocaine trafficking from Latin America. The drug enters Montenegro, passes through other Balkan countries, and then ends up in the European Union. The port of Bar is also recognized as the European Center for Cigarette Smuggling, a trade also supported by high-ranking officials and some politicians. The outdoor cultivation of cannabis is increasingly widespread in Montenegro, and the two main destinations are Spain and Germany. According to the Global Organized Crime Index, the country's elites are also involved in extortion and protection racketeering. This criminal activity is prevalent in the construction sector and is committed against various businesses and hotels in several cities such as Podgorica, Budva, Herceg Norvi, Tivit, and Bar. The problem of the illegal wildlife market is also growing in Montenegro. Protected species such as brown bears, griffins, and pelicans are captured alive and sold illegally in other European countries. Two of the most powerful and violent clans in Montenegro are the Skaljari and Kavachi clans. They are mainly involved in money laundering and cocaine trafficking from Latin America, and are infamous for using extreme violence not only in Montenegro but also in Serbia and various parts of Europe. Number 5. Serbia. Human trafficking is widespread in Serbia, primarily for sexual exploitation and forced labor, particularly in the construction sector. A significant number of children are exploited in the online sex market, a crime that has increased since the COVID-19 pandemic. Victims mainly come from Afghanistan, Pakistan, Bangladesh, and Syria. The majority of perpetrators share the nationality of their victims and orchestrate the trafficking from abroad, delegating internal movements and irregular border crossings to Serbian criminals. Serbia remains a major arms producer in Eastern Europe, although the illicit Serbian arms market has experienced a notable decline in recent years. Organized crime in Serbia is heavily involved in the environmental sector, engaging in illegal logging and poaching activities targeting species such as foxes, deer, and bison. Fuel is the most commonly smuggled commodity in Serbia, primarily destined for Kosovo. Serbia, alongside Bulgaria, serves as the primary source of synthetic drugs in Eastern Europe. Recently, it has specialized in the production of a novel synthetic drug known as pink cocaine. In addition to local criminal elements, the main criminal actors operating in Serbia include Montenegrins, Chinese, Russians, and Turks. These groups frequently recruit their members from hooligan factions. Number 4. Italy. Human trafficking is widespread in Italy, with people exploited for both sexual and labor purposes. Victims mainly come from Africa, Eastern Europe, and some Asian countries like China, India, and Pakistan. Italy's geographical location makes it a key point on the central Mediterranean migratory route, exploited by traffickers. Many of these migrants are then forced to work in the Caporalato system, enduring harsh and dangerous working conditions with minimal or no pay. Counterfeiting is a serious problem in Italy, with clothing, accessories, and electronics being the most commonly counterfeited goods. Chinese criminal organizations are increasingly involved in this trade, 
Rome is a key hub for the distribution of counterfeit goods from China, while Western Sicily is the main entry point for contraband cigarettes from North Africa. Cocaine is the most profitable drug in Italy, which has one of the highest demands for cocaine in the EU. The Indrangheta, a Calabrian mafia group, dominates this sector. They have strong ties with drug trafficking organizations in Latin America, mainly Colombia, and with the Albanian mafia. The cannabis market is also significant in Italy, though it is mainly controlled by foreign criminal organizations, such as those from Morocco and Spain. The most powerful Italian mafia groups are the Sicilian Mafia, the Camorra, the Sacra Corona Unita, and especially the Indrangheta. Number 3. Ukraine while the number of foreign nationals exploited for forced labor in Ukraine is relatively low, Ukrainian citizens themselves are more vulnerable to trafficking and forced labor both within Ukraine and in other parts of Europe, including Russia, Poland, and beyond. This trend existed well before the current war. Ukraine reportedly has one of the largest arms trafficking markets in Europe, which has intensified since the 2014 conflict in the eastern part of the country. After the start of the 2022 conflict, smuggling routes involving Russia and Belarus have become less significant, while those involving Poland, Romania, and Moldova have seen an increase. For example, the illicit alcohol trade surged after the government imposed a wartime ban on alcohol sales, prompting the government to significantly loosen the ban a month later. While Ukraine serves as a major transit route for heroin, it is more concerningly a destination and consumer market for synthetic drugs and psychotropic substances, primarily originating from Poland, Lithuania, and the Netherlands. Prior to 2022, Ukraine was a fertile ground for cyber attacks from various nation states, including Russia, Iran, North Korea, and China. Its digital infrastructure, similar to that of Western countries, offered an ideal testing ground for new cyber warfare tactics and technologies. At the same time, a lack of resources for cyber defense made it a vulnerable target. The war has now significantly worsened the situation. The war with Russia has disrupted the structure of organized crime in Ukraine. Certain groups are attempting to exploit the chaotic situation to gain higher status within the criminal hierarchy. There have been reports of collaboration between local criminal networks and Russian troops, aiming to establish control over occupied territories. Number 2. Russia. Russian women and children are trafficked for sexual exploitation throughout Europe, Asia, and North America. The war in Ukraine has prompted thousands of Russians to flee the country, including to avoid military conscription. Many seek refuge in the United States, facilitated by traffickers operating in Turkey, Central America, and Mexico. Extortion and protection money are common activities of Russian organized crime. Russia is the world's second largest legal arms exporter, supplying major powers like India and China. It also hosts a thriving illegal arms market. The trade in counterfeit goods is widespread in Russia. Around 40% of all bags, clothes, and accessories sold are estimated to be counterfeit. Cocaine consumption has increased in Russia in recent years, especially among young people. Demand for this drug was previously concentrated in a few large cities, such as Moscow, Sochi, Kazan, and St. Petersburg, but has now increased throughout the country. Cocaine is smuggled from South America, mainly from Ecuador, and most arrives via the port of St. Petersburg, after stopovers in Europe or Africa. Cybercrime is prevalent in Russia. Criminal groups are said to operate in the country without fear of prosecution or imprisonment and are believed to be assisting the Russian government in the war against Ukraine. Russian criminal groups also engage in various illegal activities in other parts of the world, such as money laundering in Cyprus and the Cayman Islands, financial fraud in New York, and car theft in Europe. Before we reveal number one, if you want to know the 10 European nations with the least organized crime presence, we ask you to like this video. Once this video reaches 400 likes, we will publish a video on this topic. And if you want to support our project, we kindly ask you to subscribe to the channel. It would mean a lot to us. Thank you. Number 1. Turkey. Including transcontinental countries, Turkey is the country on this list with the highest presence of organized crime. Human trafficking, especially in the form of sexual exploitation and forced labor, is very high in Turkey. Organized crime also takes advantage of the vulnerability of refugees, who are very present in Turkey, by pressuring women and children to be trafficked for sexual exploitation. There are three types of actors involved in the illegal arms market. First, there are criminal networks that supply firearms mainly to Iraq, Syria, and Iran. 
Second, there is a more sophisticated arms trafficking operation that works to supply more advanced and profitable weapons. Finally, the Global Organized Crime Index also reports that there are individuals within state structures involved in the illegal transfer of arms to groups fighting in Syria and Libya. The smuggling of tobacco and alcohol is widespread in Turkey, and this is not perceived as a serious crime by many Turkish citizens. As for drugs, Turkish organized crime maintains control over the wholesale import of heroin into the continent, and record seizures of this drug have been reached in recent years. In terms of cybercrime, this time Turkey is the victim. It is the target of regular software attacks and in 2021 it suffered a major cryptocurrency fraud, with losses of billions of US dollars. The Global Organized Crime Index reports a lot of other information on the topic, which reveals many other operations that organized crime carries out in the shadows and which is often unknown to non-professionals. If you want more information, or if you want to share your opinion or experience, please write in the comments. On the other hand, if you want to know the European countries with the highest crime rate that is not carried out by mafia groups, we recommend the video in the top right corner. Well, that's all for this video. Have a nice day and see you next time.